Hey campers, how y'all doing? So sorry, this has been a little bit of a delay, a bit of a gap. Lost my momentum because I've not been well. So I'm having to force myself back into doing it. Doing some editing today. I'm not sure what's going in this video. I need to I need to stay focused. Try to stay focused. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I've not been well and um, now my van's not well. I'll talk about that in another video. That's all a bit devastating for me because it was something I did. It seems it could have been prevented and it's going to cost me a lot of money to sort out. So that's that. Anyway, I'll leave this short because I don't want to prattle on. So thanks for watching. <coughs> Consider subscribing and uh, give us a thumbs up if you want to. If you want to um, show your appreciation of my time and effort by sparkling personality. <laughs> um, there's an option to buy me a coffee down in the links, down in the description below, if you feel like it. Nobody's forcing anybody to do anything, if you feel inclined. I've had a couple of people, John and John, Jonathan and John, so far. So thank you both of you for that. Anyway, that is it. Right, I will, uh, I, or just a thumbs up, a thumbs up, which takes a second. That'd be good. You just try and remember to do that. If you have enjoyed it, obviously if you haven't, fair enough you know but if you have that would be right grand if you could do that anyway shut up now uh, i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching bye for now well that's brilliant in it my battery's flat so much for a solar panel i turned the engine on briefly yesterday to move my van forward just so i could get in mid boat so yes yeah, so it hasn't engine's not been going since the day before yesterday really well, I found out now that that solar panel's useless, in a word. I was going to ask, the, there's a guy who parks the white van that I mentioned. Um, he might come back. He, he went away yes, the other day and then came back. So he might come back. I might just ask him if he can give me a jump start. Because it'll probably start straight away. It has every other time. Well, the other two times. <sighs> anyway. Something else to deal with. I hope that guy comes back because I will ask him if he'll jump start me. But you might have thought after last night he's going to go somewhere else because those donuts were noisy and it was late. It wasn't like 10 o'clock or something. It was, it was one or going on for one o'clock. Which is not ideal, is it? I've got my breakdown, you know, push comes to shove, but I'd rather not use them because I've already called them out for this issue and they did say that if I called them out within 28 days the same issue they'd have to charge me i mean that was december so it's not 28 days but i'd just rather not call them for the same issue but it's not like i'm not trying to sort it out you know i bought a jump pack that just blew a fuse and didn't start my van so i went back i bought a solar panel to trickle charge that's fucking useless i'm asking people about disconnecting the tachograph i'm doing as much as i can i'm being as active as i can short of buying another battery but then I've been told that the battery's all right, so I don't know. Just hope he comes back. Anyway, it'll get sorted, won't it? Can you hear that? That's the sound of success. <laughs> so he turned up. He's called Ian. Nice guy. Started straight away as I thought it would. But this has got to stop this situation. It's not good, is it? So I'll keep it running for a while. Oh, that bloody solar panel. A fucking point of that. Sorry for swearing. You never use it, apologise. I don't actually, do I? <laughs> I might just send that back. Because it's uh, done absolutely no good for me. Yeah, I think I'll send it back. I don't know whether to get a bigger solar panel, because you can get a bigger one that's 20 watts. It's actually got a solar controller. I mean, it's, it's a P. PWM rather than MPPT so I mean they're not the best are they but you know which is same price as what that cost so maybe that's worth having but we need the sun that's the thing isn't it and maybe there just hasn't been enough wattage going in to offset the tachograph drain perhaps maybe the battery's knackered I need to check it with my multimeter I don't really know what I'm doing there though. 
I think I can check my alternator as well with the multimeter, but I don't know what I'm doing with that. I don't even know where the alt alternator is. <sighs> anyway, whatever. This is fine though. I've got my engine running now, so I'm happy again. That's my happy face. Right, turn off. Well, I've been sat editing all day. I wasn't really in the mood for it, but I, d I want to keep on top of things, as I've said. But I'm, um, I'm gonna park somewhere different. I mean, I'm fine here. It's a fairly busy road. Um, although, it gets quieter as the day goes on. There's a lot of roads still. But it's a busy road, it's like a through road, so. I'm sure you really give a shit, don't you? <laughs> So every time something goes past me, it shakes the van, which is a little bit annoying, but yeah. Uh, but I thought I'm going to move because I could feel myself feeling, starting to feel a bit agitated. See, there is a reclusive tendency in my personality, and a tendency to stay indoors for days. But I know it's really not good for me. Uh, to do that and getting out for a walk every day would be a good thing to do but I, a lot of times I just can't be asked. <laughs> I know I can see the benefits of it when I do go out so I'm going to a different park up so I put a bit of the driving footage in so it just breaks it up a bit so I know my last video well it won't be my last one but one of them that I did it was just me sat in this driving seat various points I didn't really show you much more well a bit of Morrison's car park <laughs> it's not very exciting so I'll put a bit of driving in it not that it's exciting scenery particularly but it just breaks it up like so anyway that is what I am doing yeah I've got some glasses what do you think? Are they cool? <laughs> We've had green glasses before. All right, though, aren't they? No worse than anything else I wear. To be fair. So I haven't recorded any of this um, park up because I've I've recorded it before, quite a while before, like that'd be a couple of years ago. <laughs> I'll just turn you around so you get an idea at least. Yeah, so lots of big rocks. It's nice. Yes, I've been here a couple of days and uh, that sort of feels like it's enough for this particular park up. Although I'm, I'm not in a great place at the minute i don't know what's wrong with me but i'm i'm feeling quite anxious today for whatever reason i don't know why and uh so it's hard to know if it's a physiological thing or if it's psychological <laughs> I, I made it my mission in life like 30 odd years ago to, to get to the bottom of my issues <laughs> um i'm still trying to work it out i know we can have an off day everybody can have an off day but I've had that many off days in my life that it's like, no, 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 we can't be having that. What's going on? I need to know what's going on so that I can uh, avoid it in future. <sighs> but still trying to work it out. I just, I'm, uh... the thing is with not drinking, when you drink all the time, like I was, I mean, every day, not 24 hours a day, but every day um you're potentially blocking out difficult emotions so 
there's a chance when you stop drinking that things might start to pop up <laughs> and maybe that's what's going on but it's really frustrating because I don't I don't know I felt crapper yesterday it's like I don't know if my sort of baseline is depressed or slightly depressed at least which is why I'm always looking for things to lift me out of that whatever it is you know alcohol drugs views in the past anything that gets me excited so it's just like getting me away from that that feeling of emptiness numbness whatever and yesterday i was i just had to binge watch something to distract myself but sometimes even that is not hitting the spot and that's when it gets really difficult because i can't even just distract myself with things and i'm sharing this because i share things i don't share every single thing i don't share every moment of despair that i go through because <laughs> you know we've all got a limit of how much we we can put up with how much we can listen to that you know and i want my channel to be uplifting generally not depressing so but i'm sharing this now because i need to talk to somebody maybe i just need a good cry but i don't know why and that's what's difficult you know So I've had a bit of a cry. <laughs> um, I, I just I would just like some consistency of mood. It's like I can't even plan things because I don't know how I'm going to feel. As I probably said in another bit of video, I can be quite reclusive, but it's it's not good <laughs> to keep yourself holed up in a van or probably in a house either, really, for days. I don't know if it's worse in a van. I'm not sure. But um, I got out and I went for a walk, but I felt. I just felt so tired. It was it was hard work. Maybe I'm not eating enough food, I don't know. The thing is, with a carnivore diet, as I've said before, probably, you don't feel hungry a lot of the time. And I'm, I'm finding that I just can't be bothered making any food either at the moment. It's nice to have somebody else cook for you for a change, isn't it? <laughs> so maybe I'm not eating enough. Maybe I'm not getting the right vitamins and minerals. Maybe that's affecting my frame of mind. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Sometimes it helps to just talk about things. I need to resist distracting myself, really, from this. I need to feel what I'm feeling and let it out. You know, that's part of the problem. I probably just don't let my feelings out. Um, so I need to do that. Anyway, that was that. <laughs>